Uh, hi, I'm David Shaw. I head up uh, Infectious Diseases and Infection Prevention and Control Unit across Callum. What we need to talk about today is the use of uh, personal protective equipment or uh, PPE. And as we all know, this is a very difficult time in this COVID era. Uh, and we're all facing uncertainty and anxiety about this, um, how this will pan out over the next month or two. Um, and this has led, as you know, from uh, from all reports around the world, there's a global shortage of uh, uh, PPE, uh, and uh, we're addressing that here in, in South Australia, in particular the Royal Adelaide Hospital, which is the COVID-designated hospital. Um, so we're looking at our um, usage of uh, all of our PPE, and clearly across the world, uh, PPE works. It's very effective in preventing healthcare workers caring for people with COVID infection from getting that infection if it's used correctly. Um, the PPE uh, is gloves, gowns, uh, mas masks and uh, eyewear. The masks are variable depending on the circumstance in which you're working. Um, COVID uh, virus is spread through respiratory secretions and that's how people get the infection. So it comes from the airway. So when we're dealing with COVID patients, almost all, in all cases, we use droplet precautions. So we use surgical masks as well as those other, other components of PPE. In some circumstances, which is very limited, we use N95 uh, masks. Um, these masks are used when uh, people uh, are uh, dealing with the airway, particularly uh, providing um, airway care. They're not required when dealing with anything else other than close airway care in people with um, severe disease uh, in, the, in the majority of cases. So people in intensive care, people who are severely unwell with COVID um, and, uh, and only in circumstances where we're addressing their airway. So um, it's very important to preserve the use of N95 masks. There is a global shortage and we are attempting to maintain our supply here for our healthcare workers. And we're looking at other ways, novel ways, ways that haven't been tried before uh, worldwide, but now people are exploring the use of um, re uh, reprocessing these N95 masks, sterilizing them so they're safe, but can be used more than once. So we're looking at that uh, here in South Australia, here at the, at the RAH. And so from today, we will, be, we will collect uh, used N95 masks and we will look into ways of safely reprocessing those so they're sterile and can be reused by um, all staff. It may be that we um, sterilise them in the usual autoclave way and that's been done successfully overseas and, uh, and, and, and their uh, work has been published and is peer reviewed. The end result of all this is we've got to look after our co-workers, our colleagues. We've got to look after those people who really need N95s in their work, um, who are uh, caring for patients with COVID infection. So we've got to support them and protect them and work with them. So uh, we only should be using uh, N95 as part of our PPE when we're dealing with airway um, management um, and not generally in, uh, in other care. Um, so I'd encourage you to use droplet precautions and surgical masks in the vast majority of cases. And uh, these are highly effective in dealing with patients with COVID infection.